segment three of JCal's at home learning series. Remember, anyone can. If you can see it, you can be it. Just gotta believe. I'm real excited for this segment. As you can see, we are in our art studio. And so there's a lot of natural light coming in. But we're also going to talk about the repoint lighting, soft boxes, LEDs, using them in different ways, applying colors to them to create mood. So right now, as you can see, we're in our studio. We have a lot of artwork here, but we also we also have some natural light happening. Okay, so let's talk about the differences between using natural light and using artificial light. So anytime you're doing like an exterior daylight shot, sometimes on a script you might see EXT, which means exterior, or you might see INT, which means interior. Okay, so with all of that in mind, right now, obviously we're inside. So even though we have spotted some natural light. We are complementing it with some interior light just to brighten up my skin tones a bit. And there's always a combination of angles and brightnesses and diffusion and dimmers and all of those good things which contribute to getting the lighting right. Now, lighting sometimes takes the longest time to set why? Because natural light changes as it comes through the window. It affects our settings, you know, depending on how the room began. Was it dark to begin with? Did you have to light the corners? Are you lighting someone's face? Are you lighting a subject, an object? So we're going to talk about a few different scenarios. Okay, here we are. Welcome back to this segment on three-point lighting. So what you see here is a really decent example of three-point lighting, which means we have three lights on our gracious model, Malachi. Thank you, Malachi. <laughs> okay, so what this consists of is a key light, which is our lead light, and a couple of side fills, which are used to add dimension. I'm going to show you an example of what it would look like if we didn't have the side fills, which can highlight texture. It can highlight, like if you could see Malachi's hair, you would know like maybe the highlights would show, you'd see some shine, things like that. Okay, once again, this is our medium shot minus the side fills. Can you see the difference? Okay, although he doesn't look like he's in the dark, you see some shadows on his cheeks, under his chin. It's not as warm, it's not as vibrant, but it's an example of, you know, some lighting techniques that some people might like. The only reason he doesn't look really washed out is because our our uh, key light has a diffuser on it. It's called a soft box. And I'll show you what that looks like. So here we are again with Malachi and we're showing our soft box. As you can see, it's like a triangle and it wasn't focused away from him. Notice how when he turns it, it gives a very soft but warmed up version of what we were just looking at. And that's without the side fills. So next I'm going to show you how the side fills work with the light soft box. Okay, so now we've included some side fills. If you notice, there's a side fill there. 
And there's a side fill on the other side of the light box as well. And we're going to take a closer look because all of these lights are LEDs. Now, Malachi's turning the softbox to him. You see the difference here? How much his face really, really lit up with that? That could be used to simulate daylight exterior, like if you were out in the sun, you know, if you were just in the daylight walking down the street. Of course, he's very close to the light box, the soft box. You wouldn't be that close normally, but I'm just using it so that you can see it in the frame as an example. Okay, great. So thank you, Malachi, for the last modeling segment. So here we are again with the soft box. So I want to explain to you how these LEDs look and how they operate. So this soft box doesn't have a dimmer on it, but it has a diffusion cover. So if you can see, this is Velcroed on, okay? And inside is like a foil technique which helps reflect the light. So if you can see, there's five LED bulb, uh, actually, sorry, four LED bulbs here. And this is what the inside of that looks like. So it's pretty powerful. It creates a good amount of light. So that's why the diffuser really makes it nice. Okay. Now here we have an LED panel. As you can see, it's on a tripod. It's really easy to assemble. It just screws on. This has a dimmer on it, so I can make it bright. You know, I can make it a lot brighter. <laughs> but it's really good. It powers on and off pretty easily. It's easy to transport. I just basically have it in like a laptop style bag. Now, normally, if I had gels, which are clear, or yes, clear colored sheets of plastic that we would put over these lights to create a mood in a room or a tone, I would use those. But today I have to be a little creative because I don't have any gels. What I do have are some pretty cool scarves. You know, sometimes you just have to get a little creative. And the reason this one I thought was pretty cool is because it's red. Now, why would we use a red scarf to create a mood? Basically, what happens is when you have red, sometimes it's used to create a mood of anger or suspense. Like if you're making a thriller, you might see red in the room, things like that. And it just goes to show you, you can work with whatever you have. And you can still use your dimmer to make it bright. If you see my complexion might be changing a little bit. Um, I think that's as bright as it goes, which is pretty bright. And then, you know, you can just dim it. There's a little knob right here on the side. That is your dimmer right there. And you can see right now it's there, but then Max is there. Okay, so it's on Max, or actually it's on Minimum, and here's Max, all the way up. Little plug-in, regular AC 110. And so, that is an example of what you can do with your side fills. Next, I'm gonna show you how to set up your three-point lighting system. Okay, great. So here we are with a three-point lighting setup. This is really basic. Most photographers have used it. Most videographers are familiar with it. It's kind of like the industry standard. There's quite a few additional lights. You can always add to it for different highlights and tones and things like that. But if you have a three-point lighting system, this will work really well for you. Basically what's happening now, the reason I have this position this way is so that you, the viewer, are now the subject. 
and the lights are pointing at you. Of course, they wouldn't be behind the subject like this. They would be on the opposite side. But for these tutorial purposes, this is the way we set it up so I can show you, right? So again, this is our soft box, which I showed you the insides of before. It has four LED lights and this diffusion cover, which makes a nice soft light. That's why it's called a diffusion box. It's great for still photography, video. It's also called continuous lighting. So there's strobe lighting for photography. We've all seen the lights that go like this but this is continuous lighting because you can turn this on, you can set it and it's just on and you don't have to worry about it. So let's take a look at these side fills, okay? Here's a side fill, which we looked at before. And the reason it's right here is to just give you an idea of how they work and what their purpose is, again. Normally they wouldn't be this close necessarily unless that's the type of shot that you're really wanting. Again, with the dimmers and all that, you can determine how bright. You see, it's very, very bright. Obviously that's too washed out. But you know, you play around with it until you experiment and find what's suitable for your goals. So basically here, if you were the subject, these would be, again, on the reverse side. So they'd be at the sides of you, and this light would be facing you as it is now. Obviously, I wouldn't be in the frame. It would just be directed towards you. Here we have an example of a lit still life. We've spent most of the footage time focusing on humans. I thought it'd be interesting for you to notice that we've used our three-point po three lighting system to light our still life, where we have some fruits, some flowers, and the colors are looking pretty vibrant, I'd say. I'll give you an idea of what it looks like without the lighting. This would be another example of our still light with just one side fill. There it is. If you notice, it's level to where the fruits and the flowers are on the table. See how one side is in the shadows because one side's not lit? But the other side, I think, is showing some interesting highlights. What do you think? Thank you for joining us for segment three of JCAL's At Home Educational Series, Anyone Can. I hope you think you can. I feel like we made media magic together. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. My name is Lone Mosley. I'm your host, and we got to explore lighting in this segment three. We looked at using soft boxes, LED panels, three-point lighting systems. We lit our model Malachi. We lit our still life bowl of fruits. It was so much fun. I hope you had a good time too because we got to experiment with colors, with lighting. We looked at natural lighting. Also, if you haven't seen segments two and one, please join us because we talked about framing and composition for your camera angles. We looked at the great mirrorless Sony A6100 camera, which is really popular. We talked about how you too can use your Android or smartphone for filming, for making videos, whether you're doing it for YouTube, or you know, just to make short films or whatever you decide. We shot in 4K. This whole entire series was done probably uh, primarily in 4K. So that was really good because as you know, YouTube is, is uploading in 4K, which is great. It's very current, right? And then we also looked at all types of framing techniques, composition, how to best position your subjects, 
you know, for the angles that you desire in your photography and videography setups. So once again, this is J Cal's at home education series, Anyone Can. And I'm your host, Lone Mosley. I'm a writer, producer, director. I'm a visual artist. I have earrings that I make. I have a lot of uh, other gifts and customized arts and crafts that I make. Please see the link below. And thanks again for joining us. Please come back for segment four, because in segment four, we're gonna go into how to take all this great footage that you have now, set up a timeline in your editing, your computer, drop all the footage in, line it up, figure out what you're gonna keep, what you wanna discard, and we're gonna create video. Then we're gonna add transitions, maybe some sound effects, and all of that good stuff. So until segment four, see you soon. Thank you.